All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is very, very, very early. 6.31 on this dearly beloved uh, Tuesday. Not, I mean, yep, Tuesday. Forgive me, I was about to say Wednesday there. Um, dearly beloved Tuesday, um, July the 17th. So once again, um, we're still in the middle of uh, July, heading towards the 20s. Then pretty, you know, pretty much heading towards you know the end of July. Omar to the beginning of August. So I'm making this video at 6.32 to let you all know that, especially if you're, again, just waking up, uh, not really now, but, you know, two or three hours from now or four or five hours from now, um, these, uh, these, uh, I'm going to say four tracks, uh, four or five tracks that I just released on this YouTube channel, uh, they are all music. They're not any, you know, shows of any sorts. They're all music. And most definitely, if you look at um, the newest album that's on this um, channel, it is titled International Women's Day, the album. And that's a thing that I'm doing right now. Uh, International Women's Day, I do not know specifically when it was, like, you know, a month or two ago or two or three months ago, officially nationwide, but definitely it got me having that idea of why not, again, make an entire album titled International Women's Day. One, I wanted to. Two, you know, again, I love women. Three, I make songs for them all the time. Four, I have a lot of sisters that I really want to continuously show love and respect to in music form and et cetera. And I got a lot of love and respect and admiration for a lot of beautiful, lovely, strong women all across the world. So let's continuously keep making this music for them and see where it all gets. So this is definitely, um, the album is far from finished. But I can totally finish that album within the next 24 hours. But we definitely might, or definitely will see. Um, if I don't, I don't, but we definitely will see. I definitely know that um, when it comes to producing music, because trust me, I was just doing this like two or three hours ago, producing the last three, four tracks on this entire thing. Um, thus far, we're not on this entire thing, but you know, to start the tape off, start, start the, the uh, album off. My uh, cycle when it comes to uh Producing music is the same thing when it comes to me recording music. When I start recording, I literally almost can't stop. I go consistently for hours and end up with 17 to 20 songs in one night. Literally. My cycle is similar to the same thing with with uh, with uh, attaching the uh, beats, mixing the beats, and shipping it out there uh, to uh, uh, this, this YouTube channel. I start one, and then I want to do another one, and then I want to do another one, and then I want to do another one. To where I usually end up with, like, at least if at least three to five, if not more, um, at, the end of the, at the end of that day or at the end of that night or so forth and so forth. Again, I love producing music. Absolutely. And shout out God bless to everybody that landed a cover on the International Women's Day album. Again, I try to give song covers literally to everybody as I got first but once you understand can uh, not all the time do again every song that I post have a song cover of an actual person sometimes it has the link leader shirt um, which is my you could say my default option for song covers which is you know be responsible be respectful and etc trustworthy be you know all this stuff uh, that's my default song cover but most definitely for the kids next year coming into Nice High School and etc. I can assure you, again, I'm not going to be there every day as a volunteer. And I definitely know and believe that I have people at the school who know my music and um, we're definitely going to help me introduce those kids to my music before I get there as a volunteer whenever I return or when I just come to a, a, a football game or whatever I come to. And it's going to be lit. These kids are definitely going to learn, learn about me in some type of way. And it's going to be lit. Like I say, regardless of where I am, whether it's mentoring the uh, um, the middle schoolers or elementary schoolers at whatever else school that I land at, if the county permits me to volunteer, it's going to be lit. And the music is going to keep on coming. And the kids are going to keep on loving it, enjoying it, and so forth and so forth. Because, again, one of the top things that I've said before, these, these kids love these tribute songs that I make for them. They absolutely do. So once again, to everybody who wants to continuously ask me, why do you make all these tribute songs to all these people and or to all these girls? Because they love the tribute music, number one. Two, the tribute music is all 
fun. It's all love. It's all 100. It's all respect and admiration. You know, it's, you know, and, and, and again, listen to the lyrics of the songs. Listen to the lyrics. Think about it. Who wouldn't want them? Who, who almost like, again, I guess out of 10, a good 7 or 8, a, a good 7, if not 8, 9, 10, wants a tribute song or at least would not mind a tribute song, you know, of any sorts, you know, when it comes to expressing love, respect, admiration, and etc. That's literally just how majority of emotions go within, you know, making tribute songs. And I'm just letting, again, everybody know that's one of the type of reasons why I keep making the tribute songs, regardless of who it's for, even though majority of them have been for women thus far. It's all love and 100 at the end of the day. You have to learn how to definitely bask in the positive glory of your art, of what you're creating, and keep on God first moving forward with it, which is one of the top things that I'm continuously doing, which is one of the top reasons why I'm telling you this music definitely, you know, you know, has its own bright future in store. And definitely is going to help take me and everybody else who I put on song covers and who I'm just making music for, period, to the next level. And they're going to continuously just, just, again, keep building it and keep owning it every single day. You know, so I definitely want people to once again realize that, you know, this is real. This is 100. This is life. And it's, again, it's a God's gift blessing as we're living a lit life with Christ. Which, once again, that song, Lit Life, if you go under my Higher Morals album, which is the second song on that album, again, that's a fan favorite amongst the kids. The kids love that song. They think it's an amazing song. So, again, think about it. You know, what's not to like? What's not to love? What, you know, you know, I mean, again, you can, you, you, you know, anybody who again, has, any, has anything negative to say about it, you, I'm sorry, you're, you're going you're gonna to be reaching then. You're going to be reaching. Because the evidence is clearly there. You know, you are like one or two out of like, again, 20 or 50 or whatever the, the number is that that wants to try to find reasons to poke holes and not like this, not like that. You know, and like I say, you know, I got songs for y'all dedicated to the people who think like that and who are in that group. Do I want to release them? No. Man, I'm, you know, am I going to release them? Definitely eventually, because I think y'all need that wake-up call of, what are you doing? Why are you against this kid? Why? It's in the lyrics. It's in these videos. Why are you against this kid? But like I said before, another song was definitely coming out titled, God Bless Y'all. But this is why I said I can't care, because, you know, I can't care what y'all think in a certain type of way. I'm always looking out for your best interests, and I'm always looking out for you as still a part of my family even though you don't like me, or whatever else the case is, but I can't overall care what your opinion is towards, you know, me making the song for this person, that person, this cause, that church, that charity, and et cetera, because the evidence is there. You, like, out of 50 people, you're going to be that 1% that just doesn't like me or doesn't like the song. And the question that you're going to have to ask yourself and answer to the high majority of that public opinion is, why don't you? Listen to the lyrics of the song, especially when you have so many other rappers prom promoting absolute garbage in today's day and age, who they've been doing that for you know years and or decades, but definitely has gotten more, more violent, more corrupt, more completely mediocre over the past few years. You got to answer that question. Why are you down on the kid? Because like I said before, my name is Nathaniel Joshua NJ to the City Williams for a bust and get the written in the stars set in stone reason. I'm running this. This is my music, my craft, my art, and I'm going to continue to keep trying my best to own this thing to the best of my God first willing and able ability. This is on my grave, my afterlife, my everything. This is on my entire existence. That I want all these kids each and every day, no matter what grade you are, to continue to keep striving to be the best walking embodiment of faith you possibly can for the kingdom of God. That is 100% Respect, ladies and gentlemen, 100% respect, so forth and so forth. Because like I said, I'm the one who, like I said, when I go out to some of these games, again, I'm cheering these kids on with the absolute love and respect and admiration, and they greatly thank me in many cases. They greatly thank me, and it's all level 100. We're all learning, building, and growing together. You know, I only Dean not need high school. I've shouted you out in so many songs, and again, you're my alma mater. It's still going to keep coming. Not just Alan Denise, but as well, if you look at, um, 
the first song I, I dropped um, within the last 12 hours. I'm a legend. I also shouted out Palm Valley Academy again, the K-8, the new K-8 that's building right over there across from me. It's still in construction, but I shouted them out. And I literally said once again, you know, it's on my grave as for these younglings, I have a legacy to pave. Etc. You get the point. It's all right there. The blueprint is there, ladies and gentlemen. The blueprint is there. So forth and so forth. But yeah, the International Women's Day album, that's definitely something that you obviously see I'm constructing right now. I can get it done within the next 12 hours, but it all depends on my processes of, you know, of getting it done when it comes to my hunger towards getting it done. But I can assure you that it's the same, it's similar to the same thing with, um, with recording. Once I start recording, especially if I go consistently for three, four, whatever hours, I can get done with a, I can literally record a whole 17 to 20 songs. You know, in like two, three, four, how many hours? That's how good I, I am with my consistent recording. Because literally when I start recording one song or another song, I almost really can't stop until I get to that type of, of number, the 17 to 20. I'm over here even, you know, within the last two or three days trying to tell myself, Nate, don't record any more until you get some of this music you've already recorded out. But obviously I went back, I recorded again six, seven more songs. And then some of those songs that um, I actually recorded, at least two of them, I actually, you know, within the last two days, I actually just got them out. Little Gabs is a song that I definitely recorded within the last uh, few days. And uh, I'm a legend. I recorded that today, I believe so. And look at where it got me. It's out now. And I hope everybody definitely got first. But once it's unashamed, enjoys it. Again, I make songs for the kids. I make songs for the communities. Everybody. God first. You know what's up. This is a part of my everything. This is on my entire existence. I say that stuff because I really want y'all to understand how serious I take my power of influence, how serious I take this art of which I create, how serious I take my love for these kids and my love for their families and my love for their communities and their schools. This is on my entire existence. You know, so forth and so forth. I say, I say it because this is how serious it all is for me. That I, every day I strive to keep being the best walking embodiment of faith for these kids that I possibly can. Again, which they can look up to, have great respect for, and etc. And hopefully try to model their, their, their life, if not in every type of way, definitely certain type, type, types of way after mine, and etc. And in many cases, like I say, it's definitely God's gift working. And I absolutely thank God for it because it's just amazing how the power of influence manifests within everybody definitely it's amazing i take pride in being a big brother i take pride in being a role model and a mentor i take pride in being positive i take pride in rep repping jesus i take pride in owning my relationships i take pride in having good conversations with people i take pride in this stuff and like i say definitely i get some of the biggest best ultimate blessings from it each and every time each and every day so again these are just again more things from my story that i want y'all to again know it's in the lyrics it's in these videos what side of nj to the city history do you want to be on the side that you know again helped heal this culture or the side that kept on trying to bash the kid that tried to help heal this culture and that's one of the top things i really want again everybody who does not like me in some type of way to really ask yourself because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help heal this culture. Are you going to be on the side that helps heal this culture? Or the side that keeps sending it down the you know, sending it astray, negatively astray? Because we already have too many rappers that that's exactly what they are doing. They've been doing. They're not careful of their power of influence. I'm one of them who actually is and who cares. And is local, by the way. Local and who cares. You're not going to find another local musician that cares as much as I do about everything that I keep preaching in practically every record. At least that's my opinion, and I feel very strongly and passionately about it. So forth and so forth. Take care. God first. One once is unashamed. God first. God of everything. It's me, your boy, the man. NJ number two, the city. Uh, with the number two in T.O. Once again, this um, album is definitely, again... You know, potentially in the works. It could be done within the next 24 hours. If it's not, just let you know I'm very thankful for the four songs, four or five songs I released for you all tonight, uh, or this morning, really. It's a blessing. Hope you enjoy them, and more music coming soon. These albums are definitely, you know, in the process of getting finished up towards, 
uh, the, the end of July and start of August. Take care.